Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing my January empties. These are products that I used up during the month of January. So without further ado, let's get started. So first I'll start off with my um, hair gel. This is the Lee Dad Curl Quencher Moisturizing Styling Gel. Um, I've used this product for many years and I order you can get this at Ulta, but you can't get this size of this particular um, combination <laughs> of um, this one, this particular one at Ulta. You have to order this one directly from the Wee Dad website. But anyway, I really like it. My curls like it and um, have repurchased many, many, many times. And then uh, from Cinema Secrets, as a makeup brush um, cleanser. I use this every single morning to cleanse my makeup, uh, my eye brush. Eye makeup brushes, there we go. Um, I use it, like I said, just takes a little bit to clean them and they dry really quickly. Um, I haven't, I use them on my Wayne Goss brushes. I use them on synthetic brushes. I haven't had any problems with it damaging any of my brushes. Um, Clean, cleans them really quick. It's quick drying. Um, you don't have to rinse them. And like I said, I get it from Sephora, one of the big sizes. I can usually get it during the November sale, and that way I get 20% off. Or I used to. I'm not VIB Rouge anymore, so I won't get 20%. But anyway, um, this size bottle will last a full year because, like I said, it just takes a little bit to clean the brushes. But I really do like it. And then from, from Jason, I have a body wash, and this is the Tea Tree Body Wash. I really do like this brand, and um, this one I found at TJ Maxx. I'm used to, the only place I could get it was at Vitacost, and I would have to order it, and it was a lot more expensive on Vitacost, but um, here lately I've been seeing it a lot at TJ Maxx. And I like it because it doesn't irritate my... Um, my skin. I can't just use any body wash. Unfortunately, I can't use the ones from Bath and Body Works anymore. Wah wah. Because um, they just, they kill my arms, make my arms itch. Nothing else in my body itches, just my arms. And um, so far, none of the ones from the Jason line have done that. So I really do like the Jason line. So I definitely will repurchase. This product here um, was a hair oil from Fido, I think is how you say that. It's the Subdual, Subtle Elixir. Um, bought this a long time ago. It was on clearance at Ulta. Probably used it to about here on my hair. My hair did not like it. My curls did not like it. My curls are very rebellious and they are very, very picky. So, um, this year, my goal is to really use up a lot of my products that I have as far as skin care, body care, hair care, that type thing. And so I thought, well, I need to find a use for this because I don't want to just toss it out. So I used it to shave my legs. So um, that's how I used it. I used it up, used it to shave my legs. Um, I won't repurchase it, obviously. So there you go. It was used. <laughs> Here's another product that I, I did like this, but I'm not going to go out of my way to um, purchase it, repurchase it. This came in my um, Pink Soul box, which was a bi-monthly Korean um, skincare box that I was subscribed to. And this is the, um, oh shoot, I left my glasses laying somewhere else besides here where I needed them. This the Agave Cactus Desert Ampule, and it was supposed to help with, um, to add some extra moisturization to the skin. And I did like it. I thought it did what it was supposed to do, but it wasn't just anything that was just like super wowing to me um, to want to um, go on their website and repurchase or try and seek it out to repurchase. I can try to see what brand it was, but anyway. So I did use that up. 
I have a product from Kate Somerville, the Exfoliate Glow Maintenance. Um, uh, it was a moisturizer that had vitamin C in it, and I used it as my daytime um, moisturizer. You can't see it, it was kind of like a green color, and you could definitely feel the tingle. It definitely had vitamin C in it, and yes, I did like this. Um, it would be something that I would consider repurchasing at some point. Um, this does say you could use it in the AM or the PM. Um, but I used it, like I said, of the morning time. And I liked it. It was something, I'm pretty sure this was sent to me through Octoly a while back. And again, it was one of those products that I had received, used it for a little while, then put it aside had other products to use so I went back to use it and I was like dang why haven't I been using this I really like it so finish that and then I have from um, Sawaso and again this was a product that was sent to me from Octodely and this is the first care activating serum FX I really did like I really really did like this but this stuff is expensive Lord help me this stuff is expensive had a very herbally spa scent to it this is a product that you they recommended that you put this on first before you did any toning before you did any um, essence before you did any um, serums this was like your very very first step after cleansing um, to help balance the skin, to get it prepped and ready for all of your other products. It was just a beautiful product. I loved this. And like I said, it was it's just really expensive. I know it's well over $100 for this bottle. Oh, I was sad to see it go. <laughs> I did, it was, you know, it's one of those products that you don't want it to ever, ever, ever be an empty. But anyway I don't I didn't want it to just sit there and go bad so I did use it but man oh man I wished I still had it because <laughs> I liked it um, here's another product that came in one of my pink sew boxes and this was from Benton and it's the Benton Snail Bee Ultimate Serum and I did like this I like this I like anything that has snail in it um, snail is definitely very hydrating snail is very is a product that is very repairing to the skin it's just an overall a very good product to use on the skin it just benefits your skin in so many different ways as far as hydration repairing um, soothing the list just goes on and on as far as you know the snail uh, excretion that they use in the product to make a snail serum but and Benton is a really good um, brand and they make a good snail serum to begin with so I did enjoy using that and would definitely consider repurchasing this <sighs> but I have some other snail serums that was sent to me in or that was in w another one of my pink soul boxes that I'm currently using we'll see what do we have here this product here this product is going to look kind of weird to you, but this is the Neogen um, Petal Flower Cleansing Water in Rose. And you're probably thinking, well, it's not quite empty. Well, what it is, is this, this did hack, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this actually had pieces of rose in it. Lots of pieces of rose in it. And the way that the bottle is designed is it has a little mechanism in here in the top. It has like a mesh in there. So you're, when you dip it out, you're not getting pieces of the rose onto your cotton pad because that little mesh piece that's here keeps it from coming out. So that's good that you're not getting all these little bits on your cotton pad that you're going to be rubbing on your face. But then it gets kind of bad because toward the end, you don't, you're not getting all the little juice here. So you can't necessarily use all of it up. But anyway, how I use this was every morning, I use this after I wash my face, and I use this to cleanse my face, kind of like as a second cleanser or as a toner. 
is how I use this. And I really did like this product. Um, definitely something that I'm going to um, considering repurchasing. And again, this was the Real Flower Cleansing Water. I didn't use this as something to take makeup off or anything like that. It was just something to cleanse the skin. And I did like that. Which I like a lot of things that's just rose. I do. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, I have some makeup remover wipes. These were that I bought from um, TJ Maxx. They were in a, a bundle, and it's the spa subscriptions. Both, both of these are. One's glacier water and collagen. The other one was glacier wa water and retinol. Um, I would, I'm not going to repurchase these. I think I have, I think I'm on my last pack that was in that bundle, but I didn't care for them. Then I had another bag of these um, cotton pads from Wish Trend, by Wish Trend, the multifunction cotton pads. I had another pack of these, so I'm using these. I don't like them. Um, wouldn't repurchase them ever, ever, ever again. So that's, anyway, here's a product that's a really good product. And I have another bottle of this, and then that's my last backup of it. But it's the Claire's Supple Preparation Facial Toner. It's a moisturizing skincare program as part of them. It's just a really moisturizing toner. It's a very good, especially this time of year when it's so dry and it's a wonderful toner. Gosh, I, I just can't say anything good other. Oh, I mean, I can say good things about it, yes. Um, other than that, yeah, it's really good for moisturization um, I like it this is probably my second maybe third bottle of it and like I said I have another bottle ready to go but I'm using I have another moisturizing toner that I wanted to use before I opened up McClare's so I make I'm forcing myself to use this other one it's not as good as the Claire's but it's okay but um, yeah Claire's is better recommend the Claire's. Good. Good stuff. Hmm. Moving on, I have a toothpaste. Colgate White. Express White. Helps keep my teeth white. Or not necessarily white, because my teeth are just so stained from years and years and years of drinking pop and drinking tea and not drinking enough water. <laughs> so, but it, it does the best that it can for what it has to work with. <laughs> so, anyway. And then a de deodorant, um, the secret clinical strength. Yeah, I, I probably will never get on the natural bandwagon. I'm sorry. I just, I gotta have, gotta have this kind of deodorant. So there you go. Okay, then I have a NARS um, eyeshadow primer. This is the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And I really did like this. Matter of fact, I liked it so much that if you watched my last haul, you seen that I bought some backups of these. So I have backups of those already. Then I finished up. I have some a lot of travel thingies in here because I um my travel bag, I decided to take everything out of my travel bag and just use up what was in there and put new stuff in there because a lot of it had been partially used and I didn't know how much was left in some of it and so I didn't want to be midway through a trip and run out. So I just went through all my little samples and just put new stuff in and pulled out the sample stuff. So anyway, so this is the um, Dr. Robux No Worry Hydration Face Moisturizer. This was a really nice moisturizer, but this stuff's expensive, so I would never um, purchase a full size of it, but it was a good moisturizer. And then I had the um, Origins Photogenics. I have got to get my glasses. Hang on. I hope y'all were able to hear me through the first half of that because I had my microphone on, but I didn't have it on me. It was laying here in, in front, so I hope it wasn't. Anyway, the Origins Plant Inscription Anti-Aging Power Serum. I finished up. I liked it. It was good. It's a nice serum. 
I should just leave these glasses on. Then I finished up the Caudalie Premier Crew, um, the serum. <laughs> so the only thing about using up products like this is you can, you can feel the texture of them. You can feel how it works on your face and, you know, to see if your face is going to react, um, badly to it for one thing. But as far as, you know, actually seeing really good results, you're not going to with, you know, this size, but you can kind of see if it feels good, if it smells good, if you're going to have a bad reaction. So, so I can't really tell you a whole lot about it, but anyway. And then I have the Kate Somerville uh, Retinol Vitamin C Power Serum, this right here. I can tell you I didn't like this. This is more like a cream for one thing instead of a serum. And it smelled like coconuts to me. And I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. And I don't know why it smelled like coconuts. But yeah, I didn't like the texture of it. And I didn't like the scent of it. Yeah, coconut with almost like a mixture of burnt marshmallow. I didn't like that. And another product that I didn't like, speaking of, well, I should save this to the end with my declutter stuff. But now I've already said it, so I'm, I don't know, I'll tell you. It's the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Depuffing Eye Balm, this stuff right here. First of all, when I bought it, I didn't realize it was what, it was a roll-up thingy-ma-jop right here. It's kind of like a lip balm. I didn't realize it was that. This stuff dried my eye, under eyes out like horribly. I mean, every time I would use it, my under eyes looked bad, really, really bad. And um, gosh, I have like a ton of it left too, because it was one of those products that I used for a little bit and then I put it aside and then I pulled it back out. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm going to need to use this. And so I started using it, started using it. My eyes underneath would itch and they would just be all dry and just, mm, no, 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 no. So this is actually not empty. It's a declutter. But anyway, that's beside the point. Okay. Peter Thomas Roth, the Rotter Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. Um, this was nice. I'm just not really, I don't like using a moisturizer because this is, you know, the hyaluronic with 30% hyaluronic acid. I don't like using a moisturizer that I have to fuss with. To add another moisturizer to it to make it work more efficiency efficient you know because you know with hyaluronic acid you know it draws moisture from the air and you want to make sure that it's drawing the moisture from the air and it's not taking the moisture from your skin it's, it's just too fussy so anyway it was okay but wouldn't purchase it this was nice though i did like this this is from bliff Belief, the Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser. I was in a little one of those little gift kits that I got at Christmas that had the big um, the Aqua Bomb moisturizer. This was a sample that was with it, but yeah, I did like this. This was nice, and it didn't dry my skin out. Even though it was a cleansing foam, it was it was good. I don't need to buy a cleanser right now. I have cleansers out the wazoo, so. Here's another product from Belief, and this was the Hungarian Water Essence. Um, as far as essence go, there, there's a lot of essence that are out on the market that I like a whole lot better than this. Not saying that this is a bad essence, it's just saying that there's so many other ones I like better than, than what this was. Then I have one of my e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencils in the color um, blonde that I've been using. Finish one of those. The Kiehl's Calendula Herbal Extract Toner. <laughs> so I'm throwing it everywhere. Toner, um, I finished that. That was in one of the, one of the kits that I bought during Christmas from 
liked it, I do believe. I liked it, but not enough to want to um, purchase the full size. Then from Murad, the City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. I liked this. This was a good um, exfoliating moisturizer. So if that's something that you are in the market for, that might be something you would try to get a sample of to try. Then another one of the Herbivore Pink Cloud Rose Water Moisturizing Creams. I had another sample of this. I just, in my last empties, had a full size of this that I finished. And I had a little baby size that I finished. I like that. That was good. And then I have from 100% Pure, the Luminous Primer Vitamins Antioxidants with uh, Reservatrol. Like I said, this was a primer. I finished it. Again, this was a product that was sent to me from Octoly a while back. Finished it. Um, it was okay. Just not one of my favorite um, primers that's out there, so I wouldn't um, go out and purchase that. And then from Laneige, I have the Cushion Concealer in the color... What was this color? I don't know, number 11, Rose Porcelain. I didn't like it as a concealer, so when it was kind of toward the end, you know, it had that little sponge thingy, I used it as a foundation just to use it up, but I didn't like it as a concealer. Then I used, oh, my nose is itching, whew, from Makeup Forever, a liquid lipstick in the color number 10. I think is all it says. They don't even make these anymore. And I, this is another product that I'm just so sad to see it go. But it is just so... I just can't use it anymore. It's just so goopy. And when it dries, it just looks like old dried paint on your lips. You know, that's cracking. I just can't. But I absolutely love, 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 love the smell of this. The, the smell of this is what I wish the replica um, perfume, it's called lipstick. This is what I wish that perfume smelled like. Oh, it smells so good. But I'm letting it go. And I love the color of it too. But I'm letting it go. It's done. I've used it to death. I wish they still made these. I do. But they don't. So... And then I have a couple of um, declutter products that I'm decluttering that I didn't use, but I know I'm not going to. One is from Ofra Lip Gloss in the color, oh no, this is a liquid lipstick in the color Rio. It's just not a color that I know I'm not going to wear. I mean, that's just way too pale for me. Not going to happen. And then this is a lip gloss in Garnet. I don't even know. Oh, this is from Pure. Yeah, 100% Pure. And I, I know I'm not going to use that lip gloss. So I'm going to be tossing that, those products, declutter those. And then I have from Sawaso the um, Perfecting Cushion EX in number 21. This is um, one that I purchased in cushion that I actually finished. And I did like this. Um, it was a little bit too dark in the number 21. I um, wish it was a little bit more pinker and a little bit lighter. But I did like the formulation of this, this one. And that was the Perfecting Cushion EX. So if I needed to get another cushion, which I don't right now, I have several cushions I need to use and use up. I would get a, a lighter color in this, but I don't know what color I would have to get to be a lighter color, but not the number 21. It was just a little bit too dark. But I liked the formulation of that, but I did finish that up. Okay, that is it for the empties. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will be talking to you soon. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.